It's been five years and countless tears, mostly from my houseboy Mario. He misses the outside world. Yep, Monday marked Red Eye's fifth anniversary. Our first show aired February 6th, 2007. It was a different time then. And he had highlights in his hair. Mm. And that's all I remember. God, I was drunk. Anyway, as we amble onward, we thought we'd take a look at Red Eye in the early days before it was even Red Eye. Indeed, when we were first rehearsing, the show was called Wasteland. Check it out, check it outers. Hillary's also throwing her hat <laughs> or, her, or her bonnet, so to speak, in the ring because she is a, she is a woman. She might she wear a bonnet, I'm not sure. Helmet. Yeah. On a scale of one to ten, one being thin ankles, ten being <laughs> outrageously fat ankles, what are her chances of winning the nomination and the election? And I ask Bill because he's wearing a funny red shirt. Um, well, I've talked this at, uh, over this at length with my funny red shirt. And we've both come to the decision that we don't think that she has a chance in hell, and that I still I still don't think she's going to run. Why? I, I, I think that I think especially if Obama is serious about this, I think that her people are. Why going would Obama to... run? Isn't he in Isn't he in Pakistan? <laughs> Greg, 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 pick up a paper. It doesn't have lots of cartoons in it. Um, actually, he might be. I don't know either. No, I mean, I think Hillary, Hillary could definitely win the Democratic nomination, but I don't think there's any way she could win a general election. Why not? Because she's, she's unlikable. She's horrible. She's a horrible public speaker. Wow. wow. Eddie, that, you looked quite uh, interesting there. Well, I have to say, though, I did like it better when John Favreau was the host. <laughs> <laughs> that was somebody who ate John Favreau. I was, I was a hideous... I'm not, not that I'm anything to look at now, but Jesus, that was just... That's oh, just, no. You're beautiful. I, oh, thank you, Diane. That, I'm a, I was a fat sweaty ball of stench. <laughs> I like that original. But just a bunch of guys sitting around <laughs> chewing the fat. Yeah. 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 What you get? And it's like almost like you're a voyeur. The most yeah. amazing thing about yeah. it was we were allowed to smoke in there. Remember? Yeah. 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 And yeah. we were also kind of probably drunk. Or were we? I'm going to say no. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Bill, Bill, I mean, let's go to you, Andy, first. What was your favorite red-eye moment? Uh, well, I don't know if it was my favorite red-eye moment, but there was a time we had, uh, it was Ken Davidian, who was in Borat. Yeah. And he was on, and I think uh, there was a moment during the halftime report that night when I realized just how important my job was and what I meant to America. So I don't, can we roll that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, and just quickly, Ken, Greg wanted me to ask you a question. He was too shy to ask. Did you get to keep the Gold LeMay shorts from Meet the Spartans? And uh, if so, can he have them? What, what is your job title? <laughs> you said hell out of me. Did, did you just come out halfway through and, like, give notes, like, in a little theater? Yes. And we go back to work? No, this, this, part, well, this part's not on the show. This is not on the show. This has not, oh, this, this isn't. That's how, no, no, this won't be on the show. Next, no. Next half. What kind of show would put okay. this crap on the air? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Who is this guy? I have no idea. <laughs> Yeah. He was kind of scary. <laughs> he was, but a very nice guy. He and was, he just, he'd never seen the show before, and he had no idea what this weird little man was, why yeah. he was asking him questions. <laughs> I remember, you, were, I, I, you always made me nervous when the show started. You were the, the guest that made me the most why? nervous. Because, I, I only, A, you lived in my apartment building, and we <laughs> yes. never talked. That was like on 43rd yes. years ago. And you were kind of, you were a big star. Yeah. Oh, I'm a monumental <laughs> nobody. <laughs> I, you couldn't be next to a bigger zero right no, now. No, no, no. But I remember I was always nervous but when you were You have to remember, on. Jim, we grew up watching you. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yes. we loved you in McHale's Navy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, uh, what was your favorite moment? Well, I think as regular viewers know, this is a very sports-heavy show. Yes. yes. So I, my favorite was on a personal level was throwing out the first pitch for the Chicago White Sox. I asked them, they didn't ask me. True. I tried. Huh? It was there, it was there. All right, that was Mr. Perfect Game himself, Mark Burley. Mark, what was your uh, critique of my pitch? Uh, a little high. A little high. Yeah, I need to get it down the strike zone a little bit. In fairness, I'm a little high. Did some bad things before the game. <laughs> you know, actually, on a serious note, we lost two people that had a prominent role in that package. 
Mark Burley and um, agent Oz, agent manager Ozzy Gian, but they're in a better place now. Uh, Miami. Uh, that is <laughs> yes. true. Diana, how does it, how does it make you feel when you're looking at these, knowing that for over a year you shunned all offers to come <laughs> on our show? I was afraid the show was going to get me fired, and I'm still surprised that it didn't. But I'm happy that I finally accepted. I just remember walking through the halls and seeing her and going, yeah. "Hey, what's up?" And she's like. Just goes like this. Because That's not true. That never happened. Yes, it did. Well, that, I would have the, half happened. the time I would reproach her. She, like me, was drunk at Rosie's. <laughs> and I thought to myself, oh, you think you're so great. You're just as drunk as me. Yeah. That part uh, did happen. Yeah. By the way, we, we still think every day that the show is going to get us fired. Yes, that's so, true. That's, really that's true. I don't know what's happening yeah. even now. Uh, what was my favorite? Oh, this, this is not my favorite moment, but it was the moment that angered me the most. We had a guitarist named Adam Baum on the show. Uh, who I, I'd asked him to play guitar and answer every so, every question that I had for him with a, with a uh, solo, and but what he didn't tell me was that at the end of it he was going to set fire to his guitar. <laughs> on that note, we got to move on. Uh, thank you, Adam Baum, for being here. Say goodbye. Uh, oh no! <laughs> yes! Oh, Rock and roll. Oh, the alarm is going. Oh, thank you, Adam. All right, everybody, stick around. We got more to come. All right, I was a big ball of fat. <laughs> but no, the problem with that is I was laughing through that whole thing, but I thought we were definitely fired yeah. because that was in the newsroom with sprinklers on the ceilings. And if that had, if that, if that had actually, he didn't tell us he was doing that, we could have all lost our jobs because that entire, the entire uh, uh, newsroom would have been flooded. And do you remember for an entire year the fire marshal alarm would just go off in the middle of news shows, in the yeah. middle of everything? Yeah. I'm surprised it didn't go off then. We had, I mean, I assumed the next day we were gone. And and uh, and I, I I I didn't I never talked to Adam again. <laughs> I never talked to him again. I was just like I was like I, I don't think and he thought he had the, the greatest thing in the world. He had no idea. No, that we ended he, up like security came out into the newsroom and yeah. like we had to talk to them. Or you had to talk to them afterwards, right after the yeah. show? Yeah, yeah, it was uh, bad. All right, we got. It's take like a break. the old expression, Greg. You climb the mountains and we trip on the molehills. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, that's our job. We got more. Stick around. <laughs> Welcome back. You know, our fans, we had them ask, like, what was the most uh, popular moment or a, their favorite moment? And this one always ends up as, like, in the top three or top two. So we thought we'd play it one more time. It's me talking. And finally, Dan <laughs> from Redondo Beach, California, writes... Finally, someone with the fine palate to understand circus peanuts are the sin yeah. qua non of candy. You are my hero. I don't know. <laughs> Personally, I'd like to age the open package in the sun on the car's dashboard for a couple of days so they get crunchy on the outside. Mmm, good. Yeah. Dan, I'm so happy that you get me and the joy of circus penis. Peanuts. <laughs> Circus Penis by Greg Gunther. Yeah, well, you know, you make mistakes. You make mistakes. But it's a good time to bring up our fans. We've had a very loyal fan base that has kept us going. And they even they started their own website, which is, uh, as you know, the Activity Pit, yep. which still goes strong. And a lot of people, you know, hear about the show. Because, yeah. Cause, yeah. And, and now, we have, now we have the Twitter the hashtag, the Red Eye hashtag, which goes nuts during the show with all these insane fans, which yeah. is great. Yeah. I get the next generation. A lot of them that shows on the West Coast, especially. Like, you get them here, but it airs earlier there. Yeah. So you'd be surprised how many people come up. Uh, Red Eye, I love you on Red Eye. A tremendous amount. Yeah, do, you, do more people come to your shows? or no? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's hard to tell because you don't ask individually, but when they're leaving, a lot of them offer that they, they love me on Red Eye or they see me on Red Eye, especially like in uh, Irvine, California, Phoenix, all mm -hmm. these places on the West Coast. Mm -hmm. I beat myself. I get that at my shows, too. Yeah, you see. I get, lately, I've been getting it, especially <laughs> on the West Coast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I get, I get a lot of people saying At all those weddings, I yeah. sing, actually. Yeah. I get it all the time. Well, they have to say really something to me, and they usually pet the donkey, you know, on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. I don't ever what really get. Mean, you know? um, I don't ever really get. I've seen you on red. I do get a lot of. I see you have pink eye when I'm on the street, and I, I need to wear sunglasses or something until the inflammation comes down. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, Andy, what were you? What was your? Who was your favorite guest? Oh wow, that's tough. I uh, Greg Proops is yeah. always spectacular. Uh, I like Jim Norton a lot. Oh, yeah. Andy, come on. Uh, Diana Macedo, I think, is really good. Oh my lord. Fair <laughs> point. Well done. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I love Mark Lamont Hill. Mm. Uh, he's just always fun. 
but I don't know. They're, they're, I love them all equally, great. They're like my children. Mm, Bill? Paul Prudenza. That's it. That's Paul it. Prudenza. Begins and ends with Paul. <laughs> yeah. That is it. He was, Everything else I don't even remember. Paul Prudenza mm. was such a great guest on Red Eye that we didn't want to have him back on for fear that he wouldn't live up to the no, standard. You couldn't top you couldn't, it. You couldn't, you couldn't, you couldn't top no, it. He was no. such a great guest that two of our other guests both fought over who was going to sit next to him. Yes. Yeah, so we, so we, we had, had to split it up and right. have them both. That does it for today's adventure. If you're new here, please subscribe. Take it one step further and ring that notification bell. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a big old like and a thumbs up. It lets me know you care. I'll see you in the next video. Ride right on.